I'm not firing you, Miss Hannigan. I want you to become my legal guardian. You want me to be your parent? No, I have a parent, but he's not here. And the state says I can't live on my own. So? You want me. You want her? This is not a good time. For what? No, I... You want Agatha Hannigan to be my replacement? Nobody is replacing you. Nobody could ever replace you. Who are you talking to? You! No one. Your dad. You're doing that thing where you talk to your dad. No? Okay, yes. But it's not really him. It's just the voice in my head. And let me guess, that voice is telling you you've lost your mind? No! That's exactly what it's telling her. You remember how it went the first time she was your guardian. He's probably reminding you of how it went the first time I was your guardian. See, even she knows, and she's a dingbat. Look, both of you. I know this is an unusual idea. It's a terrible idea. A colossally terrible idea. What's the alternative? Foster care? Another orphanage? I'm pretty sure there are plenty of people out there who would be thrilled to take care of Annie Warbucks and her billions. Yeah, that's who I want to be raised by. Greedy strangers. As opposed to greedy people you already know? What makes you think you can trust her? How do you know you can trust me? Here's what I know. You came out of prison with a grudge against me and my dad. You pretty much blamed us for everything that went wrong in your life. And the party only made it worse. All of this started with you blackmailing me. But then, you saved my life. You saved Molly's life. You could have sold me out to Vanita Devon on that yacht. Or to your boyfriend, Senator Jeffries, at the hearing. And you didn't. This morning, while all the other executives were bailing on me and my father, you were making sure Sandy got a walk. He seemed like he could use one. <coughs> <laughs> if you told me a few months ago that I'd be here asking you to sign papers to be in charge of me, I would have thought you needed to be locked up again. But, here we are. Here we are. So, what's your answer? You want to move into the mansion? You want to be part of my family? What does your dad say? He's not here. What do you say? <sighs> do I get to pick my room? Welcome to your new ha- Oh. It's you guys. Don't sound so excited. Yeah, some greeting. Sorry, Moles. Tess, I was expecting someone else. Come on in. Wow. Pretty loud in here. Drake's doing some deep cleaning. Hey, Drake! Hello, Molly. Tessie. Would you mind taking a little break? Of course. Thanks. I'm glad you're both here. Maybe you can drill some sense into Annie. What's he talking about? Yeah, Annie. What's he talking about? Well, Sandy and I are bringing someone home to live here with us. You're getting a new dog? Awesome! Is Sandy okay with that? Not a dog. A guardian. You're bringing home a new parent? Guardian. Since it came out that my dad is missing, I've been having some trouble with social services. I'm a minor, so I need someone to be in charge of me. You could move in with me and my parents. I'll bet I could convince mine to adopt you. I also offered my services. No! I don't want to be adopted. I want to stay here. My dad's coming home, but until then... Until then... what? Drake? Be a dear and have someone, or 
something, grab my bags from the car, and I would love one of your famous smoothies. Shut the front door. Oh. My. Goodness. Oh my goodness, confirmed. Oh, Drake! Annie. Do I have to? At least help her with her bags. Please? <sighs> I'll send out the automates. Bless you. Hi, girls. Guess you heard the good news. Annie, Miss Hannigan Your is... new mom? No! Legal guardian. She'll be the adult in the house. And at work. Temporarily. Ooh, I was checking out photos of the bedroom from that architectural magazine spread your father did. I'll take the one right at the top of the stairs with the two fireplaces. That cool? Is that cool, Annie? It's fine. Good choice. I'll have your bags brought there. Whoa, how much stuff do you have? I did some shopping. Figured I'm gonna be out in public a lot. Need to look the part. Let's go, Robos. Up to my room. Oh, and Drake, how about a Greek salad for lunch? With chicken. No, salmon. No, 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 chicken. Oh, no, you know what? Salmon. Dressing on the side. Of course. Of course. I think I'm gonna like it here. I know what you're thinking. Do you? How could I move her into the house? How could I choose her as my guardian after how she treated us? I was thinking, I'm glad you won't be alone. Really? You could do worse. Not much worse, but worse. Tessie, you're being quiet. I was just thinking about being in the orphanage, feeling like no one cared. No one was ever coming for us. Miss Hannigan made it so much worse. She did, but she's changed, Annie. I believe that. It's crazy to say, but I think she really cares about you. You can just drop the bags right there. No, no, not there. Careful, robots. Jeez. Okay, that's better. Ms. Hannigan. Oh, Drake. You're here too. I'm everywhere in this house. Good to know. Before you start to unpack, I need you to understand what Annie means to me. If you're about to threaten me, don't bother your ones and zeros. I have a vivid recollection of you almost dropping me into the Warbucks basement. No threats. Miss Hannigan, Mr. Warbucks and his team programmed me to have unmatched capabilities. I can scan the entire internet in milliseconds. I can control fleets of drones and vehicles. But I can't see what's inside a person's heart. Metaphorically speaking. Yeah, I got that. You want to know how I feel about Annie? Yes. I feel... I feel... I'm sorry, I have to take this call. Hello? You are receiving a call from an inmate at the Sing Sing Correctional Facility. This is a collect call from... Will you accept? No. Sorry, Drake. What were you saying? Thank you, guys. For understanding. Might want to figure out how you're going to break it to Pepper, though. Where is she? She went to help Adam in the command center. Ooh, is it like a date? They're following up on a lead about my dad. So, not a date? Hey. Hello? Adam. Hello? Oh, sorry, Pepper. When I'm focused on computer stuff, I sometimes don't notice the world around me. It's okay. Um... Hi. Hi. Brought you something from the diner. Chicken salad sandwich. Made it myself. You did? That's amazing. Wasn't sure what you liked, so I took a guess. Oh! I, I love chicken salad. All that cube chicken and celery and creamy mayo. You hate it, don't you? No, 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 no. It's great. It's 
It's the it's the grossest thing in the world. I'm sorry. Don't be. That's why I also happen to bring a cheeseburger and fries. You do like burgers, right? Oh, I could kiss you. So, that's a yes? Yeah, it it sounds good. Thank you. I haven't eaten since, honestly, I, I can't remember. You've been here all night? It's morning? It's afternoon. Oh, no wonder I'm hungry. Here, we can share the fries. How's your mom? Sorry, is that a bad question? No. You know, I've been singing to her lately. Like you did. And maybe it's wishful thinking, but I feel like it's getting through. I hope so. I really do. So, what are we working on here? We? I'm not DoorDash, Adam. I came to help with the search. Okay, well, I've been fielding a bunch of new tips that came in since Annie's last livestream. More crackpots? Mostly, but now that we know Mr. Warbucks was headed to Albany, it's easier to sort them out. What? No, you, you, you've, got a, you've got a little ketchup on, on the side of your... Right here? Oh, no, other side. You, here, uh, let me... What's that? I was following up on a lead. I sent their drones to investigate some coordinates. Looks like they found something. Is that a good thing? Maybe. This might be the answer that Annie's been waiting for. All unpacked? Mostly. Where did Tessie and Molly go? They had to go home. They weren't too happy about our little arrangement, huh? Actually, they were okay with it. Really? Really. You're a salad, Miss Hannigan. Thanks, Drake. Nice plate. Is this real China, or... We need to talk about Warbucks Industries. It's kind of a mess, huh? I was just looking at the stock price. What's left of it? Yeah, but I need you to understand. My dad is still my priority. None of it matters if we can't find him. Annie, Pepper and Adam are here to see you. Send him in, Drake. Pep! Adam, I'm here! Hey, Annie. Annie? Hello, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Agatha Hannigan. You're Adam. Yes. Can she go away, please? What's going on? Did you find something? Annie. I can go upstairs. No, stay. You're part of this. Pep, what is it? Here. Pictures? They were taken by the drones, the underwater drones. Adam? I was going off a tip. Gave me a lead on coordinates. I don't understand what I'm looking at. You're looking at the wreckage of a jet. At the bottom of the Atlantic. Wreckage? From what I can tell, the plane's fuselage is intact. Which means... Nobody could have gotten out. What are you saying? I'm so sorry, Annie. Your father couldn't have survived. Day away.